Trieste, Mark and Cam, how are Miami Hurricanes doing in recruiting in football in 2021? Well, Cam certainly let us know last week that pretty much the work is done and it's about the 10th rated class in the country. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was, uh, it's, it's a good group, man. You know, I just, uh, I really like what we did, um, especially uh, with the offensive line in this class. Um, you know, uh, Michael McLaughlin, who was a tight end when he first wor- worked out of Miami and uh, we maybe saw into the future and we're just like, you know, you're six seven two forty already as a high school sophomore junior, um, you know, with a thickly built lower half. Maybe you can put your hand in the dirt and play offensive tackle. And again, you know, Eric Winston did that coming from Texas. Uh, he, he worked or played at a very run heavy offense uh, and was a tight end when he came to Miami. Look it up. Uh, and then transitioned to left tackle and had a long, long career in the NFL. Um, you know, I'm not saying that Michael McLaughlin is going to be the exact same, but that's the projection path from tight end inside uh, one more slot uh, to uh, to tackle. So that, uh, you know, that's a good get. Uh, Leonard Seymour is a good get. Jake Garcia is a top five quarterback recruit. Uh, that's a great get. Thad Franklin is a, a bigger running back. Uh, high usage rate uh, at Chaminade, so maybe a few more carries than you would like from uh, a running back at his age, but that's not um, disqualifying because we have other good running backs and, you know, Cam Harris, Donald Chaney Jr., who should be starting, and Jalen Knighton, um, who's a perfect change of pace back, Uh, you know, and then you have uh, Franklin coming in as a bigger back, like I said. Um, You have three awesome wide receivers, uh, in Brashard Smith, uh, Romello Brinson, and uh, Jacoby George. I would say four with Malik Curtis, but I guess, you know, we're dedicated to playing him on defense. So, okay, fine. Um, you know, you get the next Borgales brother uh, to take over kicking for the older brother who was just the first Miami Hurricane ever to win the Luke Rose Award as the best kicker in, the, in, the, in college. So, uh, you know, and then you have some other guys with depth and talent uh, at a few other positions where, you know, they might not be day one contributors, but they could grow into some bigger roles. And then you also have, you know, and I've talked about this recruiting class for a minute and a half here, and I didn't even mention two five stars, James Williams and Leonard Taylor, who are the crown jewels of this class, the kind of guys who Miami has not gotten recently to sign from the local area to come to Miami, a 6'5", 225-pound safety, who's a freak, and then a big defensive tackle, the number one defensive tackle, uh, in the country and Williams being the number one safety in the country. Also with Cam uh, Kinchins from uh, Northwestern, who's like the number five safety in the country. You have an elite pass catching tight end in Elijah Arroyo. Also, this class is good, man. This is what, again, I know I wrote it a couple of years ago now, but you need to go to stateofview.com. It's still on the front page and read the recruiting rules. And it is one of the rules where you need to stack elite classes and uh, based upon, you know, 2018, 2019, uh, and well, yeah, 18, 19, and 20. And then this 21 class, again, is just elite on top of elite on top of elite. And then you get two five stars in there as well. Look, man, this is a good class. And uh, with the 21 that are signed and the, you know, transfers and, you know, uh, forward counters and everything, you know, um, there's no more room and the, the work has been done, but it was damn good work. Let me tell you that. So Cam has covered much of this ground in reviewing the 2021 class, but anybody else out there that you want to highlight that's going to be big as a freshman this year? Number one is going to be Andres Borgales. He's going to be the starting kicker. He takes over for his brother, like I said, who just won the Groza Award as the best kicker in the country. Uh, He's hit from 55 and 60 in games and in practices and at camps. Uh, This is a kid with a huge leg. He's a small kid, though. He's like 5'8", 140 pounds, but he has a cannon for a leg. Um, And he's going to step into the starting kicking role. So, obviously, he's going to have impact and importance. So, that's number one. Um, Outside of him, I would say one of the wide receivers, Brinson, George, or Smith, um, because we still just have snaps to be had at wide receiver. Um, so I think that one of those guys um, has the potential to step up. Elijah Arroyo at tight end, I think that he's going to leapfrog everybody at that position on the roster, not named Will Mallory. I think he's going to be your tight end number two this season. Um and then step into the starting tight end role as a true sophomore. I just think that he has that kind of ability uh, on on the field. And, I mean, that's no disrespect to Dominic Mamorelli or uh, Larry Hodges who are in front of him. I just think that, uh, you know, you just – you recruited over those guys. 
you know, I just I, I think you did with Elijah Arroyo. Um, outside of that, um, I mean, you want to say Williams or Taylor on defense, but I'm not sure how many snaps they're going to have uh, to really have an impact impact. But I think that both of those guys can uh, find their way onto the field early as well. 